you don't spend much time thinking about your water heater. It's just that thing in a dark corner that gives us the warm showers. But it can be a serious hazard in an earthquake. If it tips over, it can break the gas line, water pipes, or electrical wiring. This could cause a fire, explosion, flooding, and extensive damage. We'll show you how to make sure this doesn't happen to your home. In most cases, it's not that hard and it's not very expensive. First, find your water heater and check to see if it has any straps or braces. If not, you'll need to install them. We'll show you how in a minute. If straps are already present, test them by pushing firmly but gently at the top of the tank. If the tank moves even a little, then it's not secure enough. If the tank can move back and forth in an earthquake, it will probably pull loose. So here's what you need to do. First, buy a strapping kit at your local hardware store or home supply store. Several different types are available. Look for a stamp of approval from the California State Architect. Most kits contain two straps. If your water heater is a 50 gallon model or larger, make sure the kit is intended for a tank that large. In some cases, you may need more than one kit. Before you start, be sure to read the instructions. If your water heater has an insulating blanket, take it off before you start. You can put it back when you're done. In most cases, you need only a few simple tools, such as a hammer, metal snips, a drill with suitable bits, and a wrench. It may be a little bit easier if you have a socket set. Don't forget your gloves and eye protection. Now you can start. First, locate the studs in the wall next to the water heater. The studs are the vertical pieces of lumber that support the other parts of the wall. If you can't see the studs, they are probably behind the wall surface. You can locate them with a stud finder. These are available from most hardware stores. If you don't have a stud finder, you can drive small nails through the wall, but first, make sure there are no wires or pipes in the way. If you're not sure, have a professional check first. Next, attach the straps to the studs. Strapping kits come with fasteners for this purpose. Remember to follow the directions. Some kits have screws or bolts that can be driven right into the wood without a pilot hole. For others, you will need to drill a pilot hole first, then screw in the bolt. The pilot hole should be slightly smaller than the fastener. Make sure you are driving the screws into solid lumber. Don't put them in sheetrock, trim, plaster, or other surface materials. These are not strong enough to hold the tank in a strong quake. Here's what happens when a water heater is fastened to something that is not structural. You need to position the straps so there's one in the top third of the tank and one in the bottom third, at least approximately. The lower strap must be high enough to be over the top of the water heater controls. Measure the tank first to position the straps. Now, do the same for the other half of the straps and for the second set of straps. Now you're ready to secure the straps around the tank. Now attach the two sides of the straps together with the hardware in the kit. Then fasten them tightly. Okay, you're almost there. But you need to make sure there's no space behind the water heater that will allow it to tip back and forth. If you can move the tank by hand, it's still not secure enough. Many kits include brackets for blocking between the tank and the wall, but these will not work in every case. You may need to add blocks, such as this 2x4, between the tank and the wall. Make sure the blocks are fastened securely. Use nails or the same screws you used for the straps. Finally, make sure the gas and water connections to the water heater are the flexible type. Rigid connectors are more likely to break. If your water heater has rigid pipes for water or gas, hire a qualified plumber to upgrade them. These simple steps work for many homes, both old and new. But if your water heater is not located near a wood-framed wall, you may need to use different methods. More information is posted at our website, www.ggashy.org.